All right, so I'm on a GM uh, 2016 GMC Sierra, and there's something that I want to show that uh, throws a lot of people for a loop. And I've seen this in forums where people have uh, asked how they can determine what they're supposed to click. And we're just going to do an auto ID here. And you'll see what it's going to ask. And, I mean, unless you already know what it is, you're not going to know what which one to pick. But I'm going to show you at least the only way I know of to determine what it has um, as far as these particular options. This is the first one. Telematics Communication Interface Control Module Version. Okay, so it can be either a 10 or a 9.7. Well, I don't know which one it is yet. I haven't even gotten into the, uh, you know, the, into the vehicle yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with 10, which is I always go with the highest number, um, and that's just the way I do. You can go with the lowest number. Obviously, right now this is a 50/50 chance. Okay. So now once we're in, and we go to control unit, um, go down here to telematics. There's telematics. ECU information. When you go to ECU information, it's going to list, of course, that's where all your software and your hardware part numbers are going to be. And what you're going to see is right here, module generation identi uh, identifier, 10. Now, just to prove to you that, I, that that is not uh, 10, because I clicked 10, let's back completely out of this. Let's go through it again. So there's the bin. But this time I'm going to click 9.7. Now, first of all, you need to know that if, if you're not going to get, if whatever you're looking at, let's say you're looking at the transmission control module or the engine control module it really doesn't matter uh, which one of those you, you pick okay now this is another good uh, example seat memory control module well which one you're supposed to pick I do have uh, memory seats so I'm just going to click the first one right here, 501. But just kind of take a look at the format that all these are in. Most of them's at least got a 5 in it. Now, why that didn't go past this page the first time, I don't know. Or, or it went past it the first time and not the second. I have no idea why. Okay, so now I'm going to click 9.7. For the telematics um, and I'm not even sure here either again we're gonna go ahead and go with uh, we're just gonna go with the first one here module 4 okay now we're gonna go back to the telematics and it's still gonna show 10 even though I picked 9.7 Module generation identifier, 10. So, chances are, whatever I needed to test on this would probably still work, but you need to be 100%. If, if, if the problem that you're having with your vehicle is the telematics, you need to make sure that, that you know, that's the right ver that you're on the right version. So, right now, I would, if the problem, if I needed to go into this module and do any kind of test, if I was going to go into special functions, even if I was just going to read trouble codes or anything, I would go ahead and back out of it, and I'd go back through it again, and I'd select 10, just to make sure that I'm not going to have any issues. Now, with that said, let's go to uh, Seat Memory Control Module Driver. And I think, is that going to be... I think that'll be the seat, because it, it was Seat Memory. What was that other... And, I, and I, I've, get, I've gotten that before, 
go back to ECU information. Okay, Diagnostic Data Identifier, 509. So that's what I should have clicked. Out of all those numbers, I should have clicked 509. But of course, I didn't know to click that. I didn't know what it was until I got into the ECU. That's one of the downfalls of the Autel. I had a, uh, a Snap-on Varus. It never asked me this stuff. I believe, I don't know 100%, but I think when the Snap-on is communicating, before it gets you all the way into the, uh, you know, the, the uh, operation to where you can start doing your tests and stuff, I think it actually communicates with the modules, and it's able to read and it knows, I think it reads these. I think it says, okay, it's 509, so I'm gonna select that automatically. Okay, the telematics, it's a version 10, so I'm gonna go ahead and select 10, and it doesn't ask, I don't ever remember the Varus ever asking me those numbers. Now, now these are not the same as an RPO code either. So, a lot of people think that, well, you can get that off of your RPO code sticker, you can't. The, the, that version of the telematics, it's not on the RPO. The seat memory, uh, whatever that number represents, I'm not even sure what that number honestly represents. I know that this is a 509, and uh, that's not going to be on the RPO code. So let's go into the transfer case here, and let's see if it'll tell us if it was that 4 or the 6. Now there's the diagnostic data identifier, which is 306, but that doesn't necessarily, it didn't give us that option. It didn't say a 306 or, or anything like that. So as far as what the transfer case said, I don't know what to tell you on that. Um, but let's back, let's back out of this one more time. We're going to go back to the auto detect. There's the bin, and we're going to see if it's going to at least come up with the, uh, it'll probably do the telematics, that's what I normally see, and every now and then I will see the uh, memory seat module. Okay, now what was it, see I can't even remember what it was, was it 506 or 509? Whichever one it was, that's what you want to click here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click 506. I'm not sure if that was it or not. But, and then of course we know now that it's 10 for the uh, telematics. And see, now it auto-detected the transfer case that time. It didn't ask me about the transfer case. So that that's kind of what's odd about the whole transfer case thing. And I've seen that before on this particular vehicle, that sometimes it will ask that, sometimes it won't. But, nonetheless, uh, whenever it asks you, now if it, usually it'll say, in, if it's an RPO code uh, information that it's wanting, Normally, it'll actually say RPO, like there in that description, you know. Uh, and for instance, let me show you. If I go, if I do a manual, well, that's. If I do a manual selection, And if I remember right, this will have some RPO code, uh, like the LED headlights and stuff. That you can get, um, see like that ALO, that's an RPO code. These are RPO codes. IO3, IOB, mine's an IO5. Here's the seat module again. I can't remember if it's a 509 or a 506. We'll just go 506. There's the telematics. And it detected the transfer case that time. So, 
and another weird thing, like I said about the LED headlights, I have had, to, whenever I have uh, done a manual detect on this vehicle, it has asked me if it was HID, uh, halogen, or LED. And it had the RPO code for all three of those. Uh, why it didn't just ask me that whenever I did a manual uh, input, I don't know. But anyway, I've seen people that, uh, that, that telematics is on almost every GM car, it seems like. Every modern GM car it comes up with, wants to know the version of the telematics module. And the only way I know of is to go to go ahead and select either one, doesn't matter which, go in, see in the ECU information um, what what the telematics number is. And I'm not sure if that's software or hardware. But as you can see on mine, it's a it's a ten. I've seen 10, 10 uh, 9.7, and nine, just 9. So I think on our Camaro, I think it's a 10 and a 9. And it actually has a 9. So I, and the only way I knew that is I went into the information here in the module, and I see where it's, uh, you know, where that's uh, a 9 on the Camaro. That we, got. we got a 2013 Camaro, and it's a 9. So anyway, I hope that helped help some of you out you don't get RPO code and these uh, version numbers confused um, at least on this it looked like the RPO code was in uh, brackets or, or quotes or whatever it was in I can't remember now but um, anyway yeah that's I just want to show that you guys take care